Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel where you learn everything about analytics, automation and productivity. In this video, I'm going to show you how to upload multiple files in Power Automate Approver. To do this, I have created a mixture form that can take multiple file upload, just a single question, and I'm just going to start creating the flow right here. Okay, let's get started by creating automated cloud flow. I'm going to call this multiple file upload. Okay. Multiple file upload. I'm going to select when a new response is submitted as my trigger. The first thing to do is to connect to that form, which is multiple attachment, so that can be very fast. The next step is to get response details. which is from actual form, I have get response details, I have to select multiple attachments, same form, I have to select it again, and for ID, I have to use get response ID. The third is that you need to convert, you need to JSONify the object, you know, that uh, you need to turn it to a JSON object, the uploaded files. So I'm going to click on compose here, I'm going to type compose and select the compose guy. And in my input, go to expression and type JSON. And then open a close bracket. And then, okay, the next thing is while in the middle of this, I have to go to dynamic content and select that form upload. Like I have here, kindly attach the files. I'm going to click on it, then click on OK. So I've been able to turn this to JSON object. Then next step is initialize variable. I'm going to initialize an array variable because the output is more than one, so it needs to be an array and loop them. So I'm just going to call this attachment and it should be array. Okay, array here. You don't need to add anything there for now. The next step is to sort of add and apply to each because we need to run the loop that we get all those files into a single array variable. So I have to look for apply to each. Okay, this apply to each. You need to, you know, conventionally, whenever you throw something that is an array inside an uh, you know, an object or an action card, it turns it to apply to each. But in this scenario, you need to add the apply to each yourself. Uh, because if you throw in the output from this guy, it will not only to apply to it. Okay, so now that we have done this, now it's within the apply to it, we want to iterate over all the different elements that this um, output, which is the JSON object carries. The next step here is um, we want to get file content, get file content from Office 365, which is one drive for business. And I need to supply you with an ID, and that is where the issue is. So where is the ID? So because this is um, sort of a, a JSON object, it has an element. I don't have the um, schema. I will have show you how we split those things out. Part of the metadata that the Microsoft Forms submit is the ID, and we have to iterate for all of them. We did that for the single file upload, but because this requires, you know, um, iteration. Right. So how do we then do that? I just have to come here and type item, then open an array bracket, which is more or less this, open a quote and type ID. This guy will look for that ID and I trade over all the ID. So click on OK. Um, sorry, ID. Yes. So it takes the ID now. The next step is append Array because we're getting the object for every ID and append to append to array. Append to array. Remember, we already have our array declared here, initialize variable. We want to append, add all of them together now. Append to array variable. And the name of the variable is actually attachment. And you have to write a sort of array schema by having this guy here and close the bracket. Then there are two major objects that we need, or may, two major variables. Number one is the name, so I'm going to type name. And the second one is the content. 
all right so for name i have to come back here to my expression and type similar thing item then use my array bracket with quote single quote and put name this will also go back and get the name that comes with those files click on it again it should insert it this is the name then for content uh, you need to put a comma after the name then for content just select get file you know this file content all right so we've been able to do that right here and then the next step is my approval approval start and wait for an approval then what approval type or so ever type i'm going to select approval reject then what is the title um new let's call this new approval request assign to i'm going to send that to the email of the person that fills the form for a case study responders email and right here the details i mean let's just go kindly find the attached document for your attention then um show advanced option this is where you'll be able to attach because it's not just one so you have to turn this to array by clicking on this t button here and now list of attachment now i can just throw in this guy variable from variables which is the attachment put it in then i'm going to click on save all right so let's try now first let's look at the flow again when a new response is submitted try to you know get triggered then get the responses there use this compose to jsonify that feed where you can attach multiple uploads you only need it for that feed for that feed then it initialize an array variable that we collect all the items there then create this loop yourself apply to each where you put the output from this compose then get file content and remember the trick here using you know by typing in expression item open and close bracket or array you know uh, bracket and then id and for appending to that um variable uh, that, that array schema the bracket here pay attention to this the name feed use the same logic here for name for content you already have the content here then you can add your you know approval you want to create items and attach it there you can easily do that All right so let's give it a test by filling this form. So um, yeah, it's in preview mode. I'm going to upload. Right there, I will upload. This is PDF and a Word document. I'm going to upload both of them. I'm currently uploading. I need to upload maybe image file. So let me go to my download folder and upload image. All right, I have image of Anaconda here. You know, or python and maybe yeah that, that's sort of that's fine okay so i have three file sorry i got to upload that again open okay so i have three files uploaded one pdf one word document and one image and i'm going to click on submit so we expect the trigger to you know Get triggered and because it's saved I'm just going to click on this back so that we can follow the flow so I expect to get a notification for you know um, for approval I think I've gotten that my teams is blinking maybe yeah I can see an activity here yes I've gotten it but let's go to my email and see so I'm expecting that to drop in my email. Okay, I have that here. New approval request. You see that? Wow, I have the request here. I have all the document. Let's start with this image. I just want to view. Okay, it's opening up in the other screen. I can see this is the image. Uh, let me close it. Let me, it should give me a preview here. Oh, by clicking on it once, I can see the preview of it here. This is the Word document, and this is the PDF. I click on this, if you can preview, it definitely, okay, it's opening it up here. For me, this is the PDF of that same thing. Okay, 
then the word document if i also click back there on the word document i should see a preview of this okay starting natural work reviewer okay you can see so you can even preview you can preview right here and then you can open it up download and save of course the goal is to be able to respond to my approval so i can see now approved so i'm going to say approved it is working awesome so i'm going to click on submit which i've done now uh because i didn't have all that details in our file approved i've gotten that notification and if i refresh here i'm going to see that that flow as is successful so we open it up now just to do you see flow run successfully you know um thank you for you know, always following and supporting if you like this video and you want more content like this please give me some and put on the notification bell so that you get to know when this is, is being dropped thank you and bye